developed by the same studio responsible for the Assassin's Creed and Prince of Persia franchises, Watch Dogs is an ambitious, open-world third-person game rooted in hacking, exploration, straight-up action, and what might be termed meta-informational warfare. You take the role of hacker cum vigilante Aiden Pierce, who can use as weapons a variety of electronic devices networked to more or less present-day Chicago's interlinked central operating system against any individual similarly networked. In practical terms, that means pretty much anybody in Watch Dogs' sprawling, meticulously detailed game world. The game assumes that the real-life 2003 Northeast Blackout was actually the work of a single hacker with an unknown agenda. Watch Dogs' timeline skews off from that point, landing us in a recognizable but different Chicago that, in 2011, saw the advent of the CTOS Super System, controlling nigh on any piece of technology above the level of can opener. That means city services mainframes, personal computers, tablets, public media screens, security cameras, traffic lights, and every last personally owned smartphone. The CTOS has instant access to information on all the city's infrastructural components and citizens. You, as hacker extraordinaire Aiden, have access to all of that to use for surveillance of, or violence against, any system, organization, or individual you deem worthy. Seeing such an ambitious, free-roaming game's potential in a canned, carefully presented video is one thing. Seeing it in an actual gameplay session is quite another. We recently got to watch Tech Wizard Aiden work his special mix of alternate present informational magic and old-fashioned violence up close and live. The results were impressive, bordering on jaw-dropping, and really drove home the possibilities of Watch Dogs' detailed, interconnected world. Powered by Ubisoft Montreal's Disrupt Game Engine, Watch Dogs comes off as a sort of information-drenched Grand Theft Auto. As Aiden moves through the meticulously detailed streets of Chicago, the game world buzzes with living, ambient detail, from daylight, weather cycles and traffic patterns, to the individual appearance, behavior, and incidental chatter of every person walking by. The developers even went so far as to cast voice actors with authentic regional accents. The most important environmental detail, however, is the constant flow of superimposed UI information tags, indicating anything of interest about anyone who's either packing a smartphone or registers on the citywide facial recognition network, which again basically means everybody. The developers did not go into excessive detail about Watch Dogs' overarching story, but instead played out an extended vertical slice to show off the game's open-world potential. Armed with his hacker's eye access to the city's information and a handgun, Aiden made his vigilante rounds on foot. In one instance, the CTOS's crime prediction software alerted Aiden to the likelihood of a criminal activity in his immediate area. A quick tap into some nearby cell phone conversations quickly yielded the fact that one of the roaming NPCs was not only armed, but was planning to violently avenge a prior sexual assault on his wife. As we watched, Aiden in short order located the man via his phone's GPS, with a little help from coordinated neighborhood surveillance cameras, followed him to a back alley, watched as he located, confronted and shot the rapist at point-blank range, and then turned away in search of other in-game fish to fry. Some folks just have it coming, some don't, and that's a call for you, as Aiden, to make. To illustrate the other end of the potential interaction spectrum, no need to break windows to steal a car when you can instantly override the vehicle's user ID security lock. Unfortunately, the ensuing, well-meaning chase didn't go quite as planned, and the UB rep, doing the live demo, ended up running down more than a couple of innocent victims, and the hunter quickly became the hunted, with police all over the city quickly joining in. The potential informational web gets tighter and more intricate. Aiden can utilize citywide surveillance cameras to track targets that he can't, for the moment, see with his own eyes. To cause confusion in a crowd, he can call up his smartphone interface and summarily jam all nearby communications for the sheer hell of it. He can interfere with the electronic signs and public billboards displaying information. He can remotely screw with the city's traffic control infrastructure and deliberately cause a cross-directional pile-up at the nearest busy intersection, whose lights are now suddenly all showing green. And just as importantly, after causing similar mayhem that, say, results in a running gun battle with lots of collateral damage, Aiden can keep track of whether any do-gooder citizens witnessing said mayhem are making calls to 911 and prominently featuring his description. One of the stated aims of Watch Dogs is to bridge the traditional gap between the solo and multiplayer experience. Ubisoft has stated that the game is designed to be compatible with a mobile app that can display city maps, get info on NPCs, track another player's progress in the game, scout additional possible mission objectives, and even offer a form of asynchronous multiplayer, in which one player can hack building cams, fudge traffic lights, or raise bridges, 
ahead of another player walking or driving in order to clear a path for them. Or not. According to the game's senior producer, one of the things we're trying to do with Watch Dogs is change the way open world action adventures are structured. We're starting to breach the wall between single player and multiplayer. As you're playing single player, you might cross paths with another player. Single and multiplayer are overlapping. We want all of our players to be connected, and that goes for those playing on mobile devices. So you can end up on the bus, playing with people who are playing on their consoles. Ubisoft Montreal's love letter to Information Warfare is currently slated to appear on Xbox 360, PS3, PC, and Wii U. But we also know it's coming to PS4, and we suspect, very likely, to the next Xbox. What we've seen so far is impressive and almost insanely promising, and we'll be keeping a close eye on the high stakes race between Watch Dogs' ambition and its execution. The most respected gamer channel on the web is coming to your living room. Get ready to enjoy Machinima in a whole new way on your 